y'all. I should probably turn... Oh, no, the sound volume's on good. That's a great start, isn't it? Uh, this is, uh, you know, that old series I did uh, about, jeez, eight months ago where I played through The Binding of Isaac. I've decided to stop doing that because The Binding of Isaac takes a good, you know, few hundred to a thousand episodes to finish. And I don't have the kind of time for that. So let's play Half-Life. It's a short, sort of, linear game. Let's play Medium. Well, not short. It's like 12 hours. But, like, that's, what, 20 episodes, maybe? Yeah. I don't know. Excuse me? Okay, now we got it. Come on. Half-Life! And welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. Yes. This automated train is provided this uh convenience whole opening bit facility personnel. Uh presents an interesting challenge for let's players in that you have to um entertain your audience for 10 or so minutes while you're given no player agency whatsoever. You can look around, look at that. Mm, look at that person down there. Running. Oh, that's a fun thing to do. You can, uh, mess with the physics. Because the physics, obviously, aren't that great. This train is Meaning, it doesn't quite get how, uh, you know, velocity it works. So, when you jump, it'll go flying back. Well, okay, of course, it slowed down just as I was about to do that. Just my luck. Come on, come on. There we go. You will fly fly backwards uh, every time you jump because uh, this game doesn't quite understand how velocity works. Um, however, this means that you can't walk off the front of this thing because you're constantly pushed back by the acceleration, which isn't actually acceleration, by the forces of the, the car, this thing. Clang, clang. Whee! Whee! You can get your head to stick to the ceiling for like a couple seconds if you got a lot of glue in your hair. I was gonna say gum, but glue works too. You ever gotten gum in your hair? I haven't either, but whatever, dude. Gum with a G. I hope you're. I hope you um. You got that. Uh, oh, 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 okay. Now we got it. Hey, look, a uh, helicopter. We're gonna be fighting one of those later in the game. Spoiler alert for you, right there. Uh huh. Oh yeah, just right. So happy uh Christmas Eve Eve. I'm recording this on December the 23rd of 2017. So uh, it's Christmas Eve Eve. Um on the day I'm recording this. I'm not quite sure when this will go out, but, um... Christmas Eve Eve. Um... Christmas time... The days before Christmas in my family are typically really, uh... really Orwellian. You know, because my family has this rule where, uh... If you go snooping and you figure out what your presents are gonna be before Christmas, you don't get the presents. Um... Which is really... You gotta be, you gotta be real, real careful, you know? Eh. Sorry, I took off my glasses to rub my eye because my eyes itch a lot, all the time, when I'm recording. Not any other time, no, just when I'm recording. Uh, but, but anyway, what was I talking about? Christmas gets really overwhelming in my house because of that reason. And, like, you know, you, you need to be careful what you say, and careful what you, what you do, and what you... Uh, what you hear, which is really nice. Be careful what you learn. That's a really neat, uh, like, science fiction thing. I like, uh, really weird PSAs like that. Like, be careful what you learn. My favorite, my favorite type of horror is, uh, instructional horror. Uh, if you don't know what genre that is, that's because I just made it up. It's, um... It's horror that's like, it, it tells you what to do. Uh, like, hey, 
Under no circumstances should you look at the sky. Don't look at the sky. There we go. That's from uh, R.K. Caddix. Freaking the phenomenon, which is a pretty good Regular science fiction horror book. I haven't. I'm. Which I'm in the middle of reading. Um. In the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a schedule and sort of the or radiation check good instructional horror. Grounds for immediate um, termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive yeah. or other hazardous materials, look at that little guy. Look at him go. Isn't he such a neat little dude? You go, little guy. Work smart. Your future depends on. Nah. I don't wonder. Now arriving at so we have a. All right, here we go. This is uh, our dude. Five minutes fifty seconds in, which I, I guess I overestimated. So yeah. I like the opening. It's just a train ride where with the narrator whispering sweet. Uh, foreshadowings into your ear. If you haven't played Half-Life, go play Half-Life before you watch this. Uh, it's... I'm recording this during this Christmas sale, which means Half-Life, I believe, is, uh, one dollar. Um... American money. I'm not, I'm not sure what it is in your country, but... Unless it's America, in which case it's a dollar. Um... What's a dollar in... What's 99 cents in GBP? That's like, I don't know. ADP? I don't know, man. Shoot, I don't know my currency conversion. It's roughly 105 yen. Come on, open up. This game starts really slowly. Um, that's, it's, that's a really big strength and also a really big flaw is that it starts real slow. If I'm jumping around too much, I'm sorry. Uh, I should probably stop that. Woo! Look at that. Look at me go. Oh. I, like, jumped up a little bit accidentally there. Texture glitching, texture glitching. Don't you know it's texture glitching? Excuse me a moment. I need to check whether or not I'm recording this at the right resolution. Good. The right frame rate, I mean, because if I'm not recording at 30 frames per second, the video files are like freaking gigantic. Um, bunny hop all over the place. Uh, the data files are freaking gigantic. Like, I'm thinking of recording around two hours a day, which is like five episodes. Um, and if I recorded those two hours straight, that'd be like, I don't know. Maybe a uh, hundred gigabytes of video data, because video is really hard to compress. Um, this analysis is going to run perfectly today, don't you think? Uh, uh yeah. Lecture B. Hello. You got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. That's right. No, I can't let you through here. Well, eh. um, I completely skimped on showing off this. Not that. The other one. Any ideas on the origin? Eh. 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 Boink. Oh. Get away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. Eh. <laughs> Don't you think we should recalculate those resonance dampening factors again? Yes. Oh my God, hey, what are that. you doing? I can't whistle, alright? Shut up. I can't whistle. I've never been able to whistle. It's weird. Everyone I know can whistle, except for me. I can't whistle. Hello there. Blah! Hidden my glass again. I can't go through there because I don't have my head suit. I've never been able to whistle. I've tried many times. That's the closest I can come. I can get to whistling. My God, what ah. are you doing? Dr. Magnuson is one of these two guys. I must remember to report this situation. And in a later episode of the series. Is it Dr. Magnuson? Where did I gotta be his name. Um 
he resents you for destroying his microwave castle, which seems really petty, until he realized that, uh, you know, spoiler alert, immediately after this, the world got, like, taken over by aliens. So, that's, and thrown into uh, apocalypse. Um, so, that was probably the last decent meal he could ever have. Yeah. Look at that low-poly toilet paper. This game came out in 1998. Can you believe it? Yes, you can, because it looks very much like a 1998 game. I wonder if you can open any any other of these. Eh. Laidlaw, which is interesting because this guy has Laidlaw books on his uh, shelf here. They never explain who that child is. Or really anything about your character. Your character really acts as a blank slate in this game, which I think really adds to its favor. You don't even have a reflection, because there isn't a mirror here, I realize. I don't know why I expected there to be a reflection. Um, Mark Laidlaw was the series writer for this game, for these... The series, for Valve. He, he wrote those stories for Valve still up until like a year ago. Um... Mostly Half-Life. I, I don't know if he worked on anything else. He might have worked on Portal 2. Por Portal as Portal as well. Por Portal 2 was one of the games, but por Portal... the Portal series as well. Alright? Hope that's clear. I should stop jumping around like an idiot and start making my way towards my objective. Oh. Ooh. Ha. Ha. Oh. Uh -huh. Looks Thank like you. Barrel today. Those things are way too big for people's actual faces. Also, his eyes aren't actually looking at the retinal scanners. Uh, but these are like way bigger than a human face. Look at look at how. All right, look. At point blank, his eyes are. Hold on. Let me get a rule. Let me get a ruler. Do I have a ruler here? At my desk. Yes, sir. There. About, no, I don't know, I expected you to see that. You can't see that, the things I'm holding up to my monitor to try to accurate, accurately gauge the distance between his eyes. Um, Hello, sir. The, shoot. Dang it, this isn't entertaining. Be entertained. Ah, okay, I have a weird rubber fake zip tie. That isn't really a zip tie. It's like a reusable zip tie. It's like all rubbery and stuff. I'll probably place in a picture if I remember to do that. His eyes are three uh, fake rubber reusable zip tie spaces apart. And these are... Oh wait, hold on. How far away am I standing from him? I'm standing approximately one screen away from him. So, there. So these, from the same distance, are like a billion apart. So, uh, that's something. Um, I don't know why I'm going that way. Because I'm supposed to be going this way, aren't I? Let's go down through here. A lot of loading screens. Uh, should have made the sizes larger on modern systems, but it's okay because they last like half a second. We could use this, but let's not. Can I? Ah! Ah! Yes! Let's go! I'm ashamed of myself for saying that. Texture glitching when two things are over each other and they are glitchy. They glitch. Caution laser. Foreshadowing, kind of? Eh. Sorry, I'm brushing up on my uh, bunny hopping. Greetings. Hey, y'all. Here you are. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. That can 
know, but we need the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. Yes, indeed. In Alright, let's go! Ah, stop saying that. I hate saying that. Look at this guy. The way he says they're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber is really ominous. Um, rightfully so. Foreshadowing! Uh, rightfully so, because that's foreshadowing. Um, foreshadowing, foreshadowing, foreshadowing. That's all that goes on right now. I love the universe of Half-Life. It's a really nice little uh, sci-fi stuff going on here. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedures. Really good today, series Gordon. of games. Yes, um, but with good reason. This is a rare but sadly, will not be concluded. May hope, uh, I hope it will. I haven't actually played a up to episode two yet, but. I need to stop that, doing that. That's really gotta be, like, horrible for your eyesight. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the Foreshadowing. That nothing will go wrong. There's a training room that is sort of a tutorial, which... You know, no, I'll get to that mechanic when we... Oh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. No. Um. Okay. Well. Let's wait for them to start talking. Testing. Testing. Eh. Jump around every now and then. What kind of music do you like? I'm honestly curious. Post it in the comment section below. I like cheesy 80s music. I'm not honestly curious, don't do that. But if you've already done that, like, go ahead and keep it there. I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read it anyway. Because I read every comment I get because I have 10 subscribers. Because this is a super oversaturated industry. Um. But. What was I saying? What kind of music do you like? I like really cheesy 80s music. That's a really weird question to ask. Ah. Anyway. Let's go up here. Up here. And... Oh! What will happen when we press this button? You'll have to find out next time!